Okay, for the last three chapters, this one included, we have been slogging away at CSS and divs. So it's time for the dessert, at least what I think is. This isn't what I would precisely call something essential, but I don't care. You got to see these. It's a brand new feature. Go up to the word file on the pull down menu and go down to fluid grid layout. You're going to love this. What you're looking at right here is three different aspects of a website mobile, tablet, and desktop. We live in the 21st century, and in the 21st century, basically people will look at a website. I mean, I do a lot of surfing, obviously, on my desktop system, but I also use my iPad and I also use my iPhone. Doesn't matter what you have. They call them desktops, tablets, and mobiles. Now look at the three areas. We're saying on this one, we have five columns on a mobile. We have eight columns. These are these little lines going down here, the columns. And on the desktop, there are 10. That will probably make more sense when we get into the actual page itself. I'm going to change the desktop to 14. Now these represent the percentages it will fill the screen. 90% on a desktop, 93 on a tablet, and 91 on a mobile. I'll leave those alone for now, but you can experiment and try different things. But I will do this. The columns and the gutters, right here, those white areas, basically are 25% of the column width, that gutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slim that up just a little bit and take that to 15%. Now we're working with HTML5, which is really cool. And go ahead and click Create. The first thing it's going to ask us to do is save a CSS file. Now, this is just a demonstration for you. Our website doesn't really lend itself to doing this, mainly because of one major thing. If you look at our headline area, or our header, that's a 960 solid width area. And that doesn't really work well when you're trying to get things smaller or bigger. So that's why we're doing just a demo for you here. I'm going to call this presentation. And I am going to put it into my faux site here. I have CSS right there. Click Save. Okay, here's our first area, but the first thing we want to do now is save it. Now we didn't save this, we saved the CSS. Now we're going to save the page itself. So go down to Save. Let's call it Fluid Grid. And I will save it in this area. First thing here, copy dependent files. There's two of them, a boilerplate and a respond min. The boilerplate is actually HTML5 kind of standard rules. And the JS, the respond min, actually helps browsers, especially older browsers like Explorer, do something called media queries, which is important for what we're doing right now. So go ahead and click copy. Okay, and you can see them over here. Now, what do we have? Well, one, two, three, four, five columns. And this is on our smartphone down here. We also have one for the tablet and for the desktop. Let's stay here for now. This is our first fluid grid layout div tag. So it's like a div but it's fluid. We know what divs are. Let's do this. Come down and click it right here to select it and delete it. Let's go ahead and make all ours from scratch. Now our cursor is blinking right up in this box. It needs to be. Go into insert layout and there it is. Insert fluid grid layout div tag. Click it. Give it a name like header. Start new row. Leave that on. Click OK. There's our first one. Click it again. Info one, but now turn that off. I'll explain what that does in a minute. Another one. Turn that off. And one more of those. And turn that off. Read my lips. No new rows. One more called footer. And we want that to be on its own row. Okay, see how they've kind of filled out that space for the smartphone. Now the next thing, remember, divs can be populated with stuff. So we're going to go into this one. Let's make this simple, but I'll select the text and type in all about animals. Let's go ahead and give that a format of like a header one. There's our heading. Now remember, these divs, just like any others, can have stuff put in them. So I'm going to select the text in this one. I'm going to go over to my images folder, and I've got one called critter. I'm going to bring that guy over, put him in here. We'll make the alternate text quick. Click OK. Ain't he cute? OK, let's get rid of this text. Let's bring over the dragonfly. And this is the second div. And the last one, we'll go ahead and select the text, get rid of it. 
and bring it over. It's just like a globe in a garden. So we'll call it globe. Okay, there we go so far, our footer. Let's select the text and just do a text footer. This is my footer. Copyright 2013. Okay, so we got that going. Now let's look at how this might look in other venues. If we go into our tablet, as you can see, they spread out based on the number of columns. This one's got 14. We're going to start here. I've got something else to do. I want to put some text with these. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Enter key, twice actually. I'm going to open up a document called Text over here in the Text folder. And I'm going to do a Control A and a Copy. That'll make it easier and faster. Come over here again, click and select, and paste that text in. Let's do the same thing to this one. Paste that text in. Didn't know I could type that fast, did you? Let's go down to this one and paste the text in. Let's come back up, select Mr. Squirrel, format in align center. Let's do that quick to all of these. Okay, this is where the fun starts coming in. I think I can put those guys on one line left and right instead of going straight down because we're on the desktop view and we got a lot of room. So watch this. Select this box. You'll see the little anchors come up. I want you to drag the resize here and go this way with it until we get to about three columns. See right there? That's three. Now, doesn't matter in the column where you go, it'll snap to it. Now let's go ahead and go into the next one. Now watch what happens when I make this one four. Well, it's got room up there now. It can go up there because I told the computer, don't create a new row on these. Okay, now, you would assume, and if you didn't know this, you'd be right in assuming it, that I can change the width here and I can change the width here, but that's not how this works. If you move the one on the right, you're resizing it. If you move the one on the left, you're changing the margin. If I come over here and grab this and drag it, say, to the second box, it pushes them all and actually kind of centers it in there. Okay, let's do one other thing with our footer here. Let's go ahead and get in there and change its format maybe to a heading three. Let's make it a little bit different, like that. Okay, that's fine. All right, what's next? Well, I like this format, but I want to see what it looks like more if it were actually a web page. So I'm going to go here to this button and tell the computer to turn off all the visual aids. Hide them all. And actually, that looks kind of cool. I like that. Let's turn them back on again. But what about things like maybe our tablet? Let's go to this one. And see, it's back to the way it was. Now, on this one, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these guys down. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And I'm going to bring it down to three instead of four. I'll do the same thing to this one. Take it to three. You can see it's up here now. I'm going to move this one over. Remember, it kind of pushes them. That's shifting them. So they're centered. And this one, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and bring it over to here. And then let's go ahead and change this and bring it over to here. So in this case, what we have is two at the top, one down here because a tablet has a smaller width. And again, we can turn this off, hide visuals. Here is our desktop, all up there. We go into this one. We got two at the top and that one down at the bottom. But what about that cell phone? Let's go back into visuals and turn them on. Let's go to the cell phone. You know, on this one, I like the way it is. They've got to be straight up and down. We can't put them next to each other, but let's make them a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and go into this one and let's drag it over two. And then we can move it over to center it. This is where the columns, when you decide, becomes important because you can use those columns to divide by, etc., etc., to get them exactly the way you want them to be. Let's do one more here. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn off visuals one more time. If you're looking at it on a cell phone, it's going to look like this. If you're looking at it 
on a tablet, it's going to look like this. And if you're looking at it on a desktop, it is going to look like this. Fluid grid layouts are absolutely awesome. And it takes us into the 21st century because now we can design things for different platforms without actually having to design an entire website for each one of those devices. That's cool. On to the next.